The podcast begins now. Joined today by Swagger Souls. Hello. Oh, was that your voice? No. I didn't see, see you. Was that actually his voice? <laughs> it seemed like an accident. What happened to your voice? Oh, man. I just like smoked too many cigarettes last night. No, I'm really fucked up. Righto. <laughs> is, that, is that what happens when you smoke too many cigarettes? Yeah, so, do uh, I, your voice sounds after a yeah, just after, cigarette binge. Yeah, do I just smoke like a whole deck? Just, yeah. uh, just, just pulling smoking? them and they just disappear. Yeah, dude, like uh, just one drag per cigarette. I do 20 drags like a man would, like a man with hair on his chest. Like a real drag know. queen. Yeah, Why like, is cigarettes know, like so a cool? Drag, like a drag king. <laughs> okay. Even. All right. Yeah, then, you know, after I smoke the whole dang, my, my voice just gets really, really, like, scratchy. Right. Do you kind of like the scratchiness? No, not at all. No, it's horrible. It. It's horrible. Yeah, you should lubricate your yeah. throat with something. Yeah, usually <laughs> when I lubricate my throat, then we go, oh, it's like, oh, fuck It's too up. slippery in there now. Way too yeah. slippery. <laughs> kind of get your words out there. Yeah, slipping and sliding all the way <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for horrible. Anyway, he's also so, joined Toby's by here. Toby. Yeah, hey, what's up? Sounding normal, it's good to see. Did you guys yeah. think that cigarettes were cool when you were a kid? Oh, uh, they were awesome. They were so cool. Nah. I, I, I thought cigarettes were really cool yeah. when I was a kid. Why? What, what What? was the first memory you have of like watching a cool guy smoke a cigarette on TV or whatever? You're like, oh yeah, this is cool. I don't know. I think it was, I think like it was more thing. when I saw my young... like. My friends, like 14, yeah. 15, smoking cigarettes, I was like, oh, that's kind of yeah, cool. Yeah, when I saw when I saw my friends back in uh, middle school, I uh, walk around and pick up cigarettes off the side of the road and then smoke like the remainder. I, I was like, dude, that is so fucking right, sick. Okay, okay. Really? I want to fucking do that. <laughs> okay. I want to smoke. I want to okay. smoke a cigarette that an old grandma threw out the window was sitting on the side of the road for God knows how long, but it still has that like red lipstick. Yeah. At uh, the end of it, that you can just suck on. It was it was a buzz. It was economical, <laughs> and it was free hepatitis C. And honestly, I couldn't turn that down. <laughs> free hepatitis C. Free huh? hepatitis C. That's it's like it's like it's the best yeah. vitamin. Wait, it's so top you, shelf. It's top shelf. <laughs> so I take it you didn't think smoking was cool. Dude, I loved it. It was so fucking great. Like, okay. who, who Wait, wouldn't... so your friends actually picked up cigarettes yeah. on the side of the road <laughs> yeah, and shit? And like... I had the fucking worst friends when I, was, when I was in middle school. They were fucking idiots. They were like, <laughs> they were like oh, I want to smoke weed. That'd be so cool. And then I'm like, oh, I don't think we should do that, guys. It's illegal. Because oh, I was a fucking nerd. Yeah, the voice of reason. <laughs> yeah, I was a fucking little idiot. And they were like, no, dude, smoking weed is cool. We're going to do it. And so I was like, yeah. all right, sweet. So they picked up some midi trash for some guy. And then I think it was like a fucking brother of a friend or Whatever. Hmm. And then I think they stole it. But basically, they had weed, they ground it up, and then they realized we don't have papers. And I was like, okay, well, you know, you always don't have papers. We should, we should probably just, you know, throw it away or yeah. <laughs> something. And uh, they, 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 you know, I was, I was a kid. And they were saying, like, <laughs> Um, no, 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 I, I know, I know exactly what they the whole, Every step of the way, you're like, oh, no, no papers, oh, I guess we can't smoke, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, let's dude. go home, guys. Yeah, and they were, they were like, no, no, I have an idea, my friend, no. friend, uh, goes, <laughs> goes to his mom's room, opens up the, the, like, the bedside table, uh, grabs, grabs uh, a King James Bible, <laughs> and rips out page 420 okay, of the King lit. James Bible, and then, he, tra- and, then lit, he, and then he rolled it up. I uh, and 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 they attempted to smoke it and it was awful. And I was like, guys, this, you probably shouldn't do that. You That's probably shouldn't take your mom's shouldn't take your mom's Bible. I don't think you should rip out page four twenty of the Bible and and, <laughs> and, and smoke it. And like I'm like combative the entire way. Man, like so this I was is a, a real pussy. Idea. I was a huge pussy, and now <laughs> I smoke weed every day. I smoke cigarettes because it's cool. Yeah. Um, I deface public property. I say fuck the government. Yeah. Cops are bastards. It's great. It's like it's what you want to do when you're a youth. Like you need to set an example. Yeah, yeah. you got to rage against the machine. Don't yeah, you? dude. Fuck fuck that. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I don't condone anything that I just said besides smoking weed. That is pretty cool. Okay. But cigarettes are bad for you. And not all cops are bad. Excuse me. Let's be real. Some of them are okay. Yeah, of course. There's good, yeah. good eggs and bad eggs out there. First time I They're smoked weed eggs, was out of an apple. Huh. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Vegan? Yeah, a little vegan bong. That's oh. kind of cute. They would shove the chopstick down the, the top and then down the side. Oh. Yeah. How'd that work out for you? How was your first time? It worked. I don't remember. I remember just like not getting high for ages. Like yeah. every time I smoked weed, I was like, I just didn't feel high. Well, I guess and after all the cocaine you were doing at the time, it yeah. probably just didn't feel like much. Yeah, I think. Yeah, you yeah. were on the coke early. You, you really <laughs> yeah. hit, the, you hit the bags when you were, you know, yeah. sleeping on kites. Exactly. I was on the half pipe at school. I, mm. I mean, down at the park, first well, time I did it. Lighting candles. Smoking, yeah. Mm. yeah. See? Doing... You remember the story. <laughs> yeah, I do, of yeah. course. Yeah. How could I forget? I was yeah. extremely yeah, it's concerned. One, one, of our, one of our biggest podcast clips. Yeah. Yeah, is, you know, you admitting to. Uh, 
to years of cocaine abuse during yeah. at a young age. If you want to know more about Toby's crippling cocaine addiction at a young age, just yep. look up on YouTube. Toby on the <laughs> Toby on the telly's crippling cocaine addiction. Yep. <laughs> something like 100% that. One hundred percent true, and it was it was quite a parable. Yeah, it was quite a parable. Your, yeah. quite your a parable. grandparents heard that clip. Yep, uh, they thought it was. I mean, they knew it was real. <laughs> <laughs> of course, because they were they'd witnessed it at the time. It yeah, yeah. Tragic. They yeah. thought, oh, yeah, memories. <laughs> it's flooding back oh, to the rehab my, clinic. Oh, my stupid coked up son. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> grandson. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what my grandparents sound like too. Mm. <laughs> oh, fucking Toby cunt down at the fucking skate park doing lines of rack. Oh. What are you doing, cunt? Oh, it's not on G. It's not Skux Deluxe, is it? Is it <laughs> yeah, G? So it's exactly. That kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can't say Skux Deluxe. No, you can say it. That's cool. Yeah, don't gate keep. I won't. I'm sorry. I don't have a gate to keep. Yeah. And I'm not a very good keeper. You anyway. actually do. You do have a gate. I do have a gate, yeah. Yeah. So. Why would, you, why would you put that out? It just makes you look like a fucking yuppie. <laughs> you, you, you fucking, fucking yuppie. I'm on a fucking show hosted by a goddamn hypocrite. <laughs> <laughs> Gatekeep doesn't even know he's a fucking gate that you can't actually get into. I have a gate, but I don't keep it. Yeah, uh, well, you literally don't have keys for okay. your gate either. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. Did podcast. we talk about it last episode? I lost you my lost, house keys. You lost your house keys? Oh, yeah. I lost my house keys. retraced your steps for like an hour? No, like what happened was I went out to get a coffee as I tend to do. It's a nice way to leave the house, go for a little walk. But the coffee place is not far. It's a five minute walk down the street. I come back, I realize I've lost my keys. I retrace my steps three times. No way to be seen. Check the coffee place, no way to be seen. I'm still locked out of my house. I've been sleeping on the streets. Wait, you told this, you, you told this last, last podcast, this th story? I don't think so. I don't know, maybe you I stole I have no idea if I've said it or not. Okay, I, don't I, don't, know I think you did. You know, I don't even know what fresh. day it is. Do you know, do you know what the first error in your judgment that you made was? What? Going to a coffee shop when instead you could have opened up a great tub of Gamersup. That's true. Gamersup right is a beautiful energy drink, powdered energy found in tubs, found in cups that you could buy on GamersUps.gg. Mm -hmm. There's plenty of cups that you can grab, and they have a new waifu cup selection. So if you like big tits, if you, if like, you like my big if you, tits, if you like Toby's big tits, which I'm sure you do, you wouldn't be watching otherwise. Hey, the only reason why we have her on the podcast cent. anymore. Yeah, um, you, you can, you can, you know, if you, if you, if you, if you want to get distracted, if you want to, if you want to, you know, maybe bust a fat fucking nut, then you can go over to GamersUps.gg, look at their newest waifu cup selection. As you know, Toby may have dropped her very own waifu cup, mm. probably sold out now. But if it isn't, go to GamersUps.gg. I, I think it might be time based. Oh, maybe mm, this time, based so maybe, maybe. Oh, so maybe you weren't even able to get it. But yeah, if you, you yuppie, if you don't want to miss out on the next <laughs> big titty drop, if you have your favorite anime girl waifu on the cup, then maybe go over to GamerSubs.gg. Yeah, grab Misfits Melon, grab Pineapple Cocktail, grab a variety of beautiful flavors. But if you're on the fence, you know, if you're like, oh, you like Geef Fuel, I'm a fucking idiot, I like Geef Fuel, <laughs> then you can, then you know, maybe. <laughs> You don't want to, you know, spend all the money on one tub because you maybe you're not confident. Get yourself some free sample packs. Get yourself a beautiful shaker by going to gamersups.gg, G-A-M-E-E-R-S-U-P-P-S dot G-G, and use code MISFITS for 10% off your order. 10%? You're a fucking idiot. Why do you need coffee? I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I just, I liked, I, I, I wasn't really about the coffee. It was just about leaving the house. We're in lockdown. I'll take any chance I can get to just yeah. go for a bit of a stroll. Yeah. It tears my head. But yeah, unfortunately, I lost my keys like a fucking goddamn. Wait, so you can go, <laughs> you you can go to a coffee shop? Huh? You can go to a coffee shop? Yeah, but you just, like, it's takeaway. You yeah. just order yeah. and stand outside. They bring it out to you sort of thing. Okay. It's so, so anyway. funny. It's like, oh, I want to get out of my house because it's locked down. I'm so si tired of being inside. You lose your fucking keys. You can't even get back in. <laughs> yes, I get what I, got what I <laughs> wanted. Fucking, you're, outside, you're, out, you're outside your fucking house with your, your head buried in your hands. Like, oh my God, I can't get back inside. And the cop's like, oi! <laughs> He's a fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm locked down and locked up. I had to um, actually scale my wall to get back in. <clears throat> I had to like climb up the back and... Do some parkour to get back in. Yeah, my okay, house, show get, up. Get in we the get back it, you're door. fit. <laughs> okay, what does it have to do with anything? Okay, yeah. Well, maybe if you put down the e-cigarettes. Oh, oh, I did. You know, I did a couple of pull-ups and I fucking did like a hundred push-ups and then I scaled my wall like a ninja. <laughs> Fuck off. I did a couple uh, warm-up moves. Yeah. A couple Bruce Lee limbering up moves. Yeah. And then mm. I just went whoa and fucking just just like jumped over. Why didn't you just one-inch punch your fucking door down? Because I would break my door. 
Do you have any idea how strong I am? <laughs> 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 uh, I didn't even know my own strength. I'm not going to try, try yeah. that. Yeah, fair enough. Anyway, I had to... Now, every time I want to leave the house, I just have to jump over my wall. You were lying to him. He came over your Wait, hands. Wait, so you was... still don't have your keys? No. No. Uh -huh. no, I, I go through the back, so I have like a, a remote control for yeah, the so back. Yeah, so lying to him, we went over to visit him. He was, I was like standing at the front door, and he's like, now you got to go around the back. It was like, what do you mean? He's like, now you get, like, got to go around the back. Like, just open the door. And you're like, I can't. I lost my keys. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I tried to scale the wall, which I was unsuccessful with. Yeah. That's not even the wall that I had to scale. But the wall I had to scale was two times as tall as that. Thankfully, I was two times as tall as you, so. Yeah. <laughs> and that would help. It so would certainly help. Why didn't you just climb over the smaller wall? No, because that door was locked. Like, the uh, small wall's at the okay. front. So there's, yep. And then there's the back, which yep. is like a, a huge garage wall. Okay. I had to climb over that. Anyway, I have a remote control yeah, as now. You, as you, that's how I get it. It's kind of nice. It's kind of like mixed up my way of entering my home. Yeah. You know? It's like a new house. <laughs> it's like a new house. I love it. Yeah. No, I'm in, I'm in pain. Yeah. No, I, but it's fine. It's nice that you your house has a, you know, a, a perimeter wall. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm to keep leave out the yuppies. Exactly. Well, I'm leaving the country now, so at least I know my yeah. place is locked up. Yeah. <laughs> Unless yeah, someone sure, finds yeah. my keys yeah, and just tries every lock. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to get back from LA and fucking have to climb over your fence well, to get in? No, nah, I have my remote control. Uh, I, I did buy one of those fucking little nest cameras, you know, like yeah. the Google nests, so, because I'm just, I, I hate, every time I leave my house, I'm like, what if? So, mm. it just in the back of my mind, I'm always like, what if someone's breaking into my house right now? What if something's going wrong like in my house? Is it like one of those rings where like, as soon as someone like enters, it'll, it'll alert it'll you alert on your phone? Me. And it's Dude. also a live feed, so I can check my phone Bro. anytime and see like video footage of my living Bro, room. Bro, next time I, I'm, I'm walking for any reason, go, go, go right up your house, I can stick my <laughs> head in the ring camera. <laughs> just fucking yeah, throw dude. rocks at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's like three in the morning for me. I'm in America. I was like, fuck, the swagger again. Just fucking with me. <laughs> Give me notifications. Like, uh, if you want to talk to me, just call me. <laughs> <laughs> Cam, I lost my phone. I hope you're doing okay. <laughs> just screaming at 3 a.m. The whole neighborhood wakes up. Uh, please do that. That'd be nice. That nice would way be to nice. check in. I can actually I can, need... I can talk through it as well. So yeah. I, it's got a microphone, so I can be like, hey, get out of my house if it's an intruder. And he'll be like, what are you going to do? I'm like, that's a great point. Uh, my, Carry on. Uh, I, might, I might call the police and they'll be there in 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, <laughs> it's just enough time for me to run away with your TV. <laughs> if you took the TV, I would be that mad. I'd be a little mad. But, you know, it's like there's probably more valuable stuff than the TV. Oh, yeah? Like, like the, what? And where? <laughs> <laughs> like the gold bars he has? Like those, yeah, all those oh, gold yeah. bars. Yeah. They probably just think those are fake. Yeah, true. That's what's smart mm. about having gold bars in the open, you know? That's right. Mm. If it's in your safe, everyone knows they're real. But if they're just out, people will be like... Yeah, people are like, explaining paperweight, but they didn't know that it was actual real gold. Yeah, and they didn't try and lift it up to see. Mm. So glad I put all my YouTube earnings into gold. Not regretting it at all. <laughs> well, you wouldn't be. <laughs> I guess not. Gold's gone up in value. Is it doing well? I think so. I mm. don't know. <laughs> what are gold stocks, Ed? I have no idea. Such a gold spot. Pump and dump spot. gold. Pump and dump gold. Mm. Yep. Gold I'm just coin. a gold digger. That's all I am. Digging away for that gold. I pan for it, too. I go to the little river. Oh, do you? Well, yeah. What, the Melbourne River? Yeah, just the Yarra. <laughs> <laughs> what would Melbourne you river? even get panning in the Yarra? For the, for, for the people at home that don't know. You'd probably get some cum. Yeah, the Yarra, the, the Yarra River. I'm pronouncing it right. Yeah, yeah Yarra the, River. The Yarra. 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 It's the Yarra. Yarra. If you go to the Yarra River, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's like fucking filthy. Like, it is mm. fucking gross. It runs, it runs right through, like, Melbourne. It goes right through the actual city. But apparently, like, the further up you get, it's actually really clean and beautiful. But as soon as it's into the city, it's sludge. Yeah, a lot of pollution. You, a lot of three-eyed fish swimming around. What do you think? Like, panning in the air. You probably get a lot of cigarette bites. You probably get a lot of used condoms. <laughs> a lot of needles. Yeah. Couple of needles. A lot of Coke cans. Coke cans. A lot of plastic dead bags. Plastic bags. Probably just like dead penguins and shit. Who knows, man? Dead penguins. Ooh, I don't fucking know. That'd be all nice. Kinds of crazy yeah. shit in there. Probably like a like a the body of a child. Yeah. The body of a, a small child. No yeah. head. What's what? <laughs> no, just the body. What? Like, oh, so no so? head. <laughs> so no, dude. We found a, uh, we found your wife at the bottom of the Yarra, decapitated. Oh, so no head? <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. Oh, that is but it's so funny. Oh, <laughs> uh, yep. Yeah. Awesome. You're if, you're, uh, there. if you're listening to the podcast and your loved one has been decapitated, 
I, 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 I'm sorry. That so you aren't getting any head. You're not so getting any head. head. Yeah. Wait, so this first time you smoked weed, because yeah. you never actually told no, us. No, no, that did you, was... Did you actually smoke was, it, or no, did you just I sit did, stand I, I, nervously I, around your friends the whole time? Like, oh, was, geez, this doesn't seem like a good idea. That was in middle school, so no, I did uh, not smoke weed in middle school. Because yeah. I, you know, I was smart enough then to be like, I knew that smoking weed at a young age would just completely irreversibly fucking munt my brain cells. And so I was like... I was like, hey, maybe I should like wait at least wait, you know, because I was convinced at that point in time because my dad was telling me, oh, weed will fucking kill you. Oh, you know, if you take LSD, it'll burn holes in your brain. So I was kind of like, oh, yeah, well, yeah, my dad is n never wrong and he's God. And so I'll do whatever <laughs> he says. Um, and then I got older and then I flunked a fucking math class. I like completely fucked up th this, this, this shit like. I was really sick. I had a stomach bug. I, I it was like thrown up in the bathroom. Like I was fucking really, really bad. And, and I was like, Dan, I need to go home. And so like I ended up going to the nurse. Like you had a fever. Like yeah, you should fucking leave. And so I did. And then my you know, and, and I had a math a math test that was like imperative for me to take then, and so that they had a chance of passing the class. And then um. Yeah, I was like, well, I'm too sick to do this, so I'm not going to. And then I left, and then my bitch fucking teacher, my stupid bitch fucking teacher who I hate, uh, called my dad and was like, oh, yeah, by the way, your son is uh, going to fail the class if he doesn't take this test. And my dude <laughs> was fucking, like, in bed shivering. My dad, my dad comes in, he's like, put on your bags, put on your shoes, we're going back to school, and you're taking that fucking test. And I was like, oh, my God, really? I was so pissed off. That's crazy and that then, uh, made you do that. Well, you know, what does this have to do with weed? Well, what know, happened is, what, you know, I was so live. I was so pissed off because I, I took the stupid test. I probably flunked it. I was feeling awful about it. I was it was gonna have to change from like this math class to like, you know, the stupid kid class, like oh. right after that. So I was really fucking upset at that. I was just upset at myself in general. And then my my best friend called me, you know, like a day or two days after. He's like. Hey, bro, I got more weed, like, because he, he was trying to get me to smoke for for ages, long, like, ages, mm -hmm. uh, since middle school. Yeah. And so, and so I, I was like, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Like, I'll actually try it. I'll actually go and we'll smoke. And then we went to an abandoned Boy Scout camp. It was, like, derelict, broken glass everywhere, overgrown, completely abandoned. We just haunted as, We honestly. sat, well, it was the middle of the day. We <laughs> sat, we sat in like, a ba this basketball court, and he had this really, really small one-hitter pipe. It was just made of metal, and I smoked it. It tastes like burnt rubber. It sucked, and I was sort of freaking out because it got high. And I was like, oh, yeah. oh, my God, I shouldn't have done this. Like, my one rule was that I would never do drugs. And yeah. What a pussy, right? What a stupid <laughs> fucking idiot, dude. And yeah. so, like, you know, I smoke, and I'm, like, freaking out. And he's just like, bro, you being retarded. Just fucking chill out. Yeah, yeah. And then we walk back to my house. Um, he goes inside, puts the shit away. We're neighbors. And then he's like, well, dude, I don't want to hang out in my house. Uh, why don't we go to yours? And so, and so I go to my house. My mom and dad are there. They're like, hey, how are you? And I'm like, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm, fine. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, get my friend come in, you know, and hang out. You're just like, so paranoid. So, so on paranoid. Edge. So on edge. <laughs> like, and they didn't suspect the fucking thing. And so yeah. I, you know, I go upstairs. Oh, by the way, my dad listens to the podcast. Hi, dad. It was really fucking big that one time. It was awesome, though. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we went upstairs. We uh, we played some games. I. Uh, like the Xbox or something. And then, yeah, dude, my mom went up, brought us like Cheetos and shit, gave, gave us a ton of snack food. And uh, we were That's pogging, sick. we were she, pogging she super hard. Known. She did, probably <laughs> did not know. I think she was just being a mom, yeah. you know, being a little host. But dude, we, nice. we devoured the Cheetos. Just fucking absolutely munched on all of them. It was great. It was a great, great first time. Yeah, first time I discovered food on weed was just like life changing. I remember just being so enamored with how Cheetos and lollies tasted. <laughs> was like, this is insane. This is the yeah. best pleasure I've ever felt. When you first started smoking, music. the way that it, it affects your taste and like your appetite and like your state of mind is fucked. That same friend who made me smoke, uh, who got me into it, uh, he told me a story. He's like, dude, by the way, your munchies will probably be really weird. I was like, well, what do you mean? He said, well, I had, I, I, had, I got really hungry and I, I felt like something like kind of spicy, but also plain. So we got these salty crackers and, and, and mustard, and he started putting mustard on the crackers, and he was eating it. And he was like, dude, this is like the fucking best thing I've ever eaten in my life. <laughs> and he had like a whole fucking, like the whole, the, the whole row of salty crackers 
And like half a bottle of this mustard. What kind of mustard are we talking? Hot think, English, Dijon? I think it was just some yellow. Just yellow American mustard? Yellow American mustard. That's fucked up. Right? And so like, you know, he, he told me about it and how good it was. And he goes, you know what? I think I'm going to try it again. And I was on a Skype call with him and he, he's fucking making it. He, he fucking bites into it. He's, he goes, oh, this is fucked up. This is fucking <laughs> awful. It tastes like shit. And I was like, well... You know, how good can, can my student be on salty and crackers? But apparently, the answer is really fucking good after you've had, like, you know, four or five grams of weed. It's like a parallel to beer goggles. Yeah. Mm, Instead, it's... Mouth goggles. <laughs> mouth goggles. It's a goggles. It's a mask. It's a weed, weed, weed taste buds or something like that. Mm. Weed, weed tongue. Your tongue gets the all beer confused. Beer goggles. Is that a term? Beer goggles is like a term for when you have a few drinks and all of a sudden everyone looks a little more attractive and everyone's a little more funny and, you know, whatever. It's how people kind of get enamored with people they might otherwise not be attracted to yeah. uh, when they get drunk. Mm. So I'm making a comparison to that. <laughs> You know, you're now, explaining and now I'm just explaining the it's, it's good the it's comparison. Good comparison. So. You should make more of those. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like that one time that he like was comparing stuff like for an unnecessarily long period of time. Oh, and then that's somebody, a, and then somebody that's else a good came comparison. in. Yeah. Does it remind you of another thing? No, no, it doesn't remind me of anything. Well, that reminds about. me of that one time that you... That, you, that I didn't know that, anything? Well, that you didn't contribute to the conversation. Yeah, that happens a lot. <laughs> it does, They really. call me Comparison Cam. Sorry, I just had to say that. Yeah, they don't call you Compassion Cam, do they? <laughs> what? Are you saying I'm not compassionate as a human I, well, being? I, I just said it. Look, it just no, came I don't out. really care. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Damn. Yeah, man. Middle school, though, huh? Crazy times. What yeah, a riot. Awful, awful. What a crazy riot. Fucking, fucking horrible. Boy Scout camps and mustard crackers, huh? Yeah, you know, I was more high school. I was more high school. high school for me. Right on. Oh, yeah, I didn't smoke weed till out of, out of high school. I didn't do any drugs in high school. <laughs> Losing fucking AD. Yeah, it's probably no, why I um, didn't get any pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're actually such a yuppie, it's making me fucking sick. Yep. Right. Yep. 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 Man, I had a great topic before you started talking about that fucking cracker shit. <laughs> well, then fuck, just spit it out. I, don't, I can't remember what it was. So I <laughs> oh, yeah? Give me a second. All right, don't. All right, give me a second. Yeah, we're giving you the second. Okay, but like, do something else while I think. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> just like... Okay. Don't do patty cake. No, you can't just resort to patty cake whenever to, we run uh, out of to the to the audio listeners. Me and me and Toby are playing patty. Why don't yeah. you stop? Well, I I can't talk in the so, mic. It's all awkward distance, yet. and you're talking while you're doing it. Um, why don't we start thumb wrestle instead? Uh, for the audio listeners, me and Toby are currently thumb wrestling. Uh, you one, guys have two, remarkably three, four, similar uh, thumbs. Like, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a pretty even match. Our yeah. weight division is really up there. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck you up, Toby. Oh, it's just. Oh, you're a shit. Man, if you're an audio listener, you're really missing out on this action. All right, uh, Fitz, why don't you commentate over this? <laughs> Viagra thief, not hot and criminal, lawyer says. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, right, you right, heard me. Right into the news. Viagra thief, not hot and criminal, lawyer says. Well, Let's he, talk about it. He's certainly it. a hard criminal. Cannabis, <laughs> cannabis <laughs> user uh, Stephen Cooper. Stole Viagra from a pharmacy he was banned from. No way, Stephen Curry stole Viagra? No, that's Cooper. correct. Mm. Stephen Cooper. The 46 year old stole the packet of Viagra from Lloyd's Pharmacy in Leak as he needed it for himself as he had formed a relationship with a woman. Let's go! <laughs> Very good. The theft happened at eight. Eight days after police executed a drug warrant at his arrest and found 10 euros worth of cannabis in his room. 10 euros? 10 euros. That's fucked. That's crazy. That's that guy needs life in jail. <laughs> yeah, for not having enough weed. Yeah, fucking loser. <laughs> what the fuck? Why are the police so on his case for 10 euros of weed? On March 19, the defendant entered Lloyd's Pharmacy in Leak and stole a packet of Viagra. This guy's outrageous. <laughs> Four weeks before that, he had gone to the pharmacy and tried to steal four pa four packets of Viagra. Oh, he at apologized. least this time he stepped it down because he knew that he couldn't quite do the yeah, four. Yeah, the, the four like would have been like, I'll steal once, just these four packets, and then never again. This will last me for however long until my relationship falls apart with this new woman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And yeah. so, and so, maybe like a couple weeks later, he was like, "Ooh, if I keep stealing, maybe the relationship will, uh, you know, last way shorter than I imagine." So maybe I only need one packet, and then boom. Arrested for 10 euros of weed and the Viagra stealing. And so, yeah, really. Wait, so he actually got done. arrested for 10 euros of weed? I don't think so. No, I think, probably I think they for had stealing a, the Viagra. Yeah, I think they had a warrant and then they just searched this place and they only found 10 yeah. euros, which is not really a lot. I mean, that's, that's, that's fucking nothing. Yeah, is that but anyway, he got illegal? banned from this pharmacy, that's for sure. And this guy clearly has a Viagra problem. 
he clearly has a need to have a hard dick at all times. So he just starts getting flaccid. He needs another hit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he just can't. True, man. There's too much blood in my brain. <laughs> yeah, he just wants to get it out of there. Yeah. He's, some people just like to think with their dick 24-7. Yeah, it's, you know, it, sometimes it's the best decision. Sometimes it is. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do. I'm going to think of Viagra. My dick will point me in the right direction. <laughs> Oh, oh, straight it, ahead! <laughs> it just pointed me towards more pussy. Yeah, Great. He, he's got a wristband that says, what would my dick do? <laughs> what would my dick do? Yeah. Well, it'd probably get hot and, <laughs> and come. So I well, guess we'll do that and yeah, yeah. figure it out from there. <laughs> 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 yeah, and then maybe he'll get flaccid again. Yeah, and then he'll have to take more. <laughs> what would my dick do? Oh, well, it gets smaller on a cold day. Well, <laughs> uh, that might work. <laughs> Shrivel up like a turtle. <laughs> Uh, maybe urinate. I don't know. I don't know if my dick's really got the answers here. Speaking of weed, Amazon's answer to the livery driver shortage: pot smokers. Let's think about it. The company, uh, the company. Okay. This is Amazon we're talking about. The Bezos Corporation. Oh, that's owned by Jeff Bezos, right? That's the guy, the bald yeah. guy. You know that really rich guy. Like Suthi? The testicle guy. <laughs> yeah, the guy that looks like a fucking testy. Yeah. Uh, the company is advising its delivery partners the mom and pops that operate the ubiquitous blue Amazon vans to prominently advertise that they don't screen applicants for Mariani, Mar Mariana. Mariana. Mariana use. <laughs> <laughs> According to the correspondence reviewed by Bloomberg and interviews for four business owners, doing so can boost the number of job applicants by as much as 400%. Amazon says in one it's message. Cause, it's because everyone's fucking smoking weed. Everyone's the smoking lockdown, weed, bro. As soon as you start screening that shit, you're not going to get people to apply anyone. for the job. It's like uh, when the FBI was like, it was, it was like some kind, it was like FBI or CIA was one of the fucking big governmental like uh, ooga boogas. And mm. then like, uh, they wanted, they, they were looking for like, you know, gray hat hackers or white hat yeah. hackers that could help them like, you know, with cybersecurity or tracking down, you know, where, where malware came from or, mm. or, or any sort of thing like that. And they had, and, and, and at every turn, every single person that they've that they interviewed or tried to like get involved, they had to deny because <laughs> they were all smoking weed. Because they're fucking coders, they're little code monkeys sitting in their fucking like bedrooms, hunched over with nerd neck. And so like <laughs> they, you know, they, they they have chronic back pain because of how fucking fucked up their back is when they have scoliosis. Mm. And then they fucking, you know, they're just smoking weed to like, you know, you know, like code a little bit better, bro. So I'm gonna like get a fresh perspective after smoking some of this blunt, man. <laughs> and then you know they really write their fucking code. Okay. And then and so like government was like, mm, you shouldn't do code. You shouldn't like you know you shouldn't probably you should probably shouldn't smoke weed, man. If you're working for us. And then they were like, nah. <laughs> like, it's either we smoke the weed or we don't work for you. Smoke weed or you're not finding out who's fucking sending malware. Yeah. That's By the right. way, it's China. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> who knew? So but but yeah, everyone's they, working from home nowadays. Everyone's smoking a bunch of weed even it's the true. amazon delivery drivers are working from home yeah yeah they're just in front of the tv with a racing sim <laughs> dude that'd be so sick that'd be so sick that's probably the future we're heading towards man just cones and drones and well, I bone dogs bones. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, steal Viagra from your local pharmacy today don't actually do that it's rude just have either of you ever done viagra no. I've what done, are you uh, talking about? Like it's an illicit drug. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Like it's an illicit drug. No, I like, was just curious. Is, 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 a, is there any other way to ask if anyone's done Viagra? Yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> have you ever taken Viagra, I okay. guess? Have, would be have different you ever like, taken done Viagra? It's like, have nah. you ever done weed, I guess? I've never done Viagra. I, I think have I you? was on the verge yeah. of doing horny goat weed once. Uh, yeah, a little But dare. I didn't do it, I don't think. That, you can buy that shit from the gas station. Yeah, yeah. I... I uh, I've heard that it uh, doesn't work sometimes. Well, it works, but not on women, but on oh. goats. On goats, huh? Yeah, so you're more inclined to fuck goats. Huh. I didn't know there was such a market for goats with uh, erectile goat goat dysfunction. No, no, no. You you get turned on by goats. Oh, you yeah, start so you, to fuck you goats. take it, you get horny, you fuck goats, and then you smoke weed. Well, horny I, goat weed. How horny do I get? Do I get so horny that I'll scale like remarkably steep cliff sides to fuck them? <laughs> I just, I, as soon as I come, I, I realize I'm on top of a very <laughs> steep mountain. You get oh, clarity. Fuck, I perch, horny goat weed again. Per, just perch precariously just, on a ledge. Just, I'm like, why was I thinking? I was just thinking with my dick, and now I'm up here with this fucking goat that I yeah, no longer love. <laughs> <laughs> you don't love the goat anymore? Oh, it came, but is that post not clarity? Yeah, yeah, I guess the problem is that you have to explain to the goat that it was just a one time thing. <laughs> that like you're not looking for anything more than that. Yeah. Um, 
But you have yeah. to do it nicely because yeah. otherwise the Asian, goat yeah. might push you off yeah, the legs. Buck you know, off the side. Yeah, yeah. kind of like bunt you with his horns. Get fucked, get bucked, as they say. Not a ideal situation for anyone. Guys, do you remember your first day at school? Yeah. What, what was your like memory of that? It was horrifying because yeah, I was like, you know, holding my, I think it was my dad's hand. It was either my dad or my mom. I'm holding, I'm holding their hand. Yeah. We're walking in. And Five then, years old or something like that. Like, I would have been so young. It, like we're walking in and then, you know, there was like a bunch of, you know, a bunch of like funny cartoon characters on the walls and like all that, like a bunch of colors. And then, you know, my mom walks into the, into the room uh, where all the other kids are and like I'm there and I... Uh, and she, you know, she's like, okay, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. And I was like, okay. And like, I went to follow her. She's like, no, no, I'll be right back. And I was like, okay. And then I, then I sat there, and then she never came back. <laughs> what the what? fuck? She scammed you. Yeah, you know, I think you know, because she knew that I wouldn't have, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have done well yeah. if if I knew that she was leaving me there. Yeah. So instead, you just had to sit there and go, dude, mom. Mom, you're coming back. Never comes yeah, back. I was I was crying for like a solid hour, two hours, or whatever, and then a bunch really? of a bunch of other, you know, the, the, you know, like the fucking the, the the teachers or whatever. The, the, they're not really teachers. Just kind of looking at these fucking idiot kids playing games. Yeah, but, but you know, <laughs> they're, teachers. They're not really teaching anything. When you're that young, yeah, like, true. You just, like, it's kind of like a daycare. It's just for like socialization. It's just like you know, disrespect teachers. No, okay. it's not a disrespect. It's not a, you know. It's, but the thing is, they're not like sitting you down in desks and fucking teaching you shit. They're yeah. just like you. Know, oh yeah, here's you know here you know they're teaching you the the solid social skills like you know make sure you you make sure you share like don't take toys right, from other make people. Make sure you talk about your friends behind their back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> make sure you bully him for crying. <laughs> yeah, but like, um, yeah, basically after after that, like the the teachers kind of put me with a, a group of kids and they were all playing with these giant Legos. You're like mega blocks. They're stacking, they're building towers, and I'm like, oh, this is cool. And like, I built like little robots and spaceships and shit. And then mm. before I knew it, my mom was back, and I was like, oh, hey. And then I right. went home. So but, yeah, did was, you end up enjoying your day at school? Yeah. The first day? Yeah. Not the first hour or two, but yeah, yeah after yeah. that, it was pretty nice. It's probably a pretty common experience, right? Yeah. You dude. have quite a vivid memory of such an early age. Like, yeah. I, my, my, dude, I have, I have like right images old. that come up. I, can, I remember certain smells. I can remember like certain pictures, but like I don't really remember how the day panned out that well. Yeah. I remember. I don't know if it was me or my brother, but there's a story that my parents used, always used to tell about one of us. I just can't remember if it was me or not. They, uh, after like one of our first days at school, uh, they asked us like, well, how'd it go? Like, what'd you do? And <laughs> I think it was me. I was like, oh, you know, I just kind of wandered around and drank out of the fountains. And <laughs> so, that's, that's, apparently that was my main memory of my first day at school was just the drinking fountains and how sick they were. Yeah, it's yeah. like, what the fuck? I pushed this button and there's water coming out? Yeah, that is fucking <laughs> sick. You know, you've never experienced anything like that yeah. when you're a kid. Well, that is kind of get a drink whenever yeah. on this fucking weird metal thing. It's that's sick. Did you have drinking fountains? At, at, yeah. I mean, you must have, right? Yeah. But like, were, was your, was your like a uh, school when you were in elementary school, like hallways and lockers and shit at that stage? Or was it like... Uh, no, this was like pre-elementary. Okay. This was, this right. would have been like, like preschool. This would have been like preschool, kindergarten mm, type shit. Right. It, would, it was a kindergarten. But, but like, let's talk like grade one to grade, grade seven. Grade one to What grade does that seven? school look like? Is that like lockers and shit? Well, I moved, it? I moved around a lot. So like, right. I, I, I changed middle schools halfway like when in the fourth grade I, I, I switched middle schools I moved states hmm. but the first the first one was really really good I, I liked it it was like a school but they were like it was it was one one campus but there was there was a big there was a big um there was a big building and then there was like a playground and a big oval in between and then there was this giant like walkway that went down to the smaller building and the small building was uh from First graders to, uh, it was first till, th I think third or fourth grade, and then you went up to the to the big one for for fourth grade, fifth grade, and then you'd go to to the middle school. Um, so yeah, that was elementary. I was in. Sorry if I said middle school. That's but cool. Yeah, I changed elementary school. I'm only asking because my only knowledge of what an American school looks like comes from Ned's declassified school. Survival. No, no, not <laughs> that's like that. Like, that's my main point of all reference. Bullshit. There was not. There was not a blind guy <laughs> spinning a basketball oh, all man. over the place. What? There wasn't a guy with fucking Google Glass. You know, uh, cookie. Was it cookie. Love Cookie. I man. love Cookie. What a great fucking show. Yeah, he was fucking great. That was a good show. It was a really good show. Sp speaking of third grade, one of my memories of third grade is um, we had this teacher for our classroom uh, for the whole year. And I wouldn't say her name, but she was like a woman in her thirties. She was a nice teacher. Like I have good memories about her. I've, I think she was like, a, did a pretty good job, but there was one really weird thing about her. And that was that 
whenever it was someone's birthday in the class, they would have to go up on the front, uh, like get on her lap and be given birthday smacks. Yeah. What do you mean smacks? I mean like for the amount of years old they were, they would get like smacked on the butt like that many like that what many times. What the fuck? And it was like a ritual in the class. Which seems like really weird did, in hindsight. Did you like look forward as, to it? As a child, it was just like, yeah, I guess this is just fucking <laughs> Mrs. Whatever doing her thing. What the but, fuck? But uh, looking back, even a few years after, I was like, that was peculiar. <laughs> it didn't feel sexual at all. Yeah. It, it, nothing. I've, I never saw anything go beyond the birthday smack. Yeah. It's just a peculiar tradition. I then, guess it was a different time. Yeah. You know, yeah. This was like 2000, what, five, six? Or yeah, like that. it would have been similar. So like that. Pretty early on. But and then uh, next year, your birthday came around, and you're like, Yeah. No one's, no no one's smacking no one's here to smack me. Smacks. I showed up on my 21st, and I was like, Where's, where's my 21 <laughs> smack? Where's my 21 smack? Every, every birthday, I go smackless now. <laughs> it's like a hollow it's so thing inside me. No, but weird, yeah. right? Like, Yeah. yeah. I mean, it strange. didn't feel weird. We, we all the other kids kind of like watching the kids get smacked because it's like yeah fuck you getting smacked yeah it's your birthday <laughs> fuck you you're the center but, uh, of attention you better get smacked for it. but yeah weirdly it was the third grade nice teacher that was doing that shit and all mm. the priests so I went to a catholic primary school yeah that's good <laughs> there was never any weird altar boy shit going on yeah dude i remember my first grade uh it was either first or second um i had i had the same teacher for the first and second grade actually Oh, yeah. Which was fucking awesome because I loved her. The whole class loved her. She was so good. Nice. And uh, there was like a substitute. One day, uh, yeah, it was like there was a substitute. Like, and, and usually when you have substitutes, like in first or second grade, you do something cool. Uh, we would do shit where like you get shaving cream and then you spray it all over your desk. And then you would like write on the desk in the shaving cream. Um, which it was fucking so sick. It was <laughs> what is so that supposed fun. to teach? Well, it was just it was it's just like a, it was like a space. it was like a fun exercise. You know, it was like a fun little thing. You, you know, everyone gets to get their hands like dirty, and you're like actually yeah. applying and you know, whatever. It was just fun. It was fun thing for kids to do well, when you lose a substitute, because uh, it was easy to clean uh, off of the desks, and you know it, you could eat it, and it wasn't like toxic. It was it was pretty cool. And I remember cool. there was like a thing. Where they were like showing like like tricks or whatever they they were talking about uh, different coins like they said you know you get a nickel and then you get a, a quarter and and with the nickel like you know they would get like a uh, a pen like a pen with ink and they would go around the edge of the coin and then they would roll it down your down your arm and then it would make a trail uh, of, 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 of ink and, and then you'd be like yeah you see like the trail is is smooth with with the nickel and then when you roll the the quarter down it would be ridged and yeah, then you'd be bumpy. like you know there's different textures you know with the coins and all that and i said they demonstrated and i was like oh is this gonna wash off and the substitute told me i uh, know she looks like dead serious dead serious like plain faced told me <laughs> No, it's going to be on there forever. <laughs> and I fucking freaked out, dude. I freaked out inconsolably freaking out. I thought I got a tattoo. <laughs> and I did not <laughs> like so the funny. way it looked. And so she was like, no, 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 see, yeah, we'll go to the sink. I was like, I don't want to go to the sink. I don't want to go to the sink. And, you know, she just fucking like dragged yeah. me over there. She's trying to wash it off. She's like, see, it's going off. And I'm just like crying, looking up, like, it's not washing off. You know? She was just fucking with you? Like when she oh, said that she, straight face, or was she just like. She was fine with me yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. She was just trying to make it. Happens. She was just trying to make it joke but you know as soon as I started freaking out I remember her getting really nervous <laughs> to like be like no 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 it's okay yeah yeah dude you, you, did you ever have any like other other people in your early your early years in school like especially first second third grade where they freaked the fuck out where have you ever seen a child have a full-blown fucking tantrum and destroy a whole classroom because I have four times really yeah dude I've seen it four fucking times just you, you like girl like like it was like two girls and two boys one girl was like sad she got like a d and then <sighs> and we were like like they, they she failed a test or something didn't spell something right something stupid yeah. and then the teacher i think the teacher was like no it's okay and then somebody called her dumb uh, and then mm, dude it said it said arrived she went up she went up to the kid and she fucking <laughs> 
flipped his desk with, with him still in it. Really? Yeah, he started crying. <laughs> and then everyone was like, whoa, whoa, whoa now. And then she just started pushing all the desks. Everyone had to get Damn. up. Everyone had to like line up outside. And dude, she made a mess, bro. She made a fucking mess of the entire thing. Tore down posters, I kicked wish it I, over. I wish I did more of that shit when I was a kid. because Yeah, because you, you get away with it. <laughs> you just yeah. get away with it. You can, fucking, eyes, you can just Hulk rage. You just fucking Hulk yeah. rage. Fucking smash everything. People be like, oh, it's just fucking like, stupid. I, stupid six year old. <laughs> he yeah. did spank you a couple of times. I was never aware of how much shit I could have gotten away with as a kid when I was a kid. If you're a kid and you're listening to this, just stop fucking shit up for no reason. <laughs> that's, my, that's my advice. You'll yeah. probably be fine. Yeah. Parents will forget about it eventually. <laughs> Fuck, I had another really good thing to say. But, One of the uh, memories I have from from school is uh, we had this, we went down to the beach one day mm. and we like collected like crabs and stuff from the rock pools. That's cool. And we brought them back and put them in a fish tank at the school. Mm. And uh, I remember we went into the school one day and you could just see a starfish consuming a fucking oh, crab. Oh, it spit out its really? stomach, right? Yeah, it was just, yeah, it was just yeah. fucking slow... The slowest shit ever, just over like a couple of days or something, mm. just slowly consuming this. Dude, I swear, I, I swear that they will do that in early, like, I swear, it must be a common theme in, in every single, like, early, like, grade one, you know, K through five, where you will do a thing in the science class or whatever, where it, for ours, it was. We got a bunch of butterflies. We got caterpillars. And then, the, and then over the course of the school year, you see the caterpillars will turn into uh, uh, cocoons. And then you see the cocoons. And then you see over the course of whatever, and they, they'll even film it with the camera, get the, you get the little time, time lapse, and yeah. then show the class like how it works. And you do this whole thing on uh, caterpillars and you know metamorphosis. And then the butterflies, these beautiful monarch butterflies, are like fucking extinct now. You can never see a monarch butterfly ever. And like... At the end of the whole experiment, you have a whole crate filled with butterflies, and you go, okay, it's time to set them free, guys. It's time to go outside and set them free and watch them fly away. And then we fucking t- took it, we put it out, you get to grab a butterfly, you let it go. And, you know, mine, you know, mine went fine, uh, my friends went fine, and then this other this girl, dude, this fucking girl, she throws her, and a fucking sparrow comes and eats the, oh. <laughs> eats the fucking butterfly. <laughs> and she was crying, dude, bawling her eyes out. Uh, and then had, why can't she just be happy for the fucking sparrow? Right? You know? like, it's but, just a, a great you know, but then it's like, you know, then you get tied another lesson, you know, with that, you know, it gets explained to you like, just oh, like yeah, life is unforgiving and cruel. Yeah, you know, this is the ecosystem. You will never be happy again. Yeah. You know, pretty much. Important lessons for a child. But yeah, yeah, you know, it was, I, I swear there's always something like that where it's like, oh, hey, here's like, yeah, here's a little fish tank and here's that. It's yeah, some fucking death. Here's a big fish eating a little fish, fucking tearing it apart. Yeah. You know, here's a video of a, <laughs> of a dolphin fucking a dead fish. Yeah. Uh, a, Blue, is... Blue, pull that up. <laughs> uh... No, bro, no more dolphin pussy. It's yeah, serious. fair enough. It was dolphin dick that time, bro. Uh, that's you ever seen that? <laughs> dolphin, dolphin bit, bite off the head of a fish and then fucks it. Like a flashlight? Holy yeah. shit. Really? No, I yeah. haven't seen that. Blue, you want to pull it up? <laughs> is this even a possible thing to pull up? How graphic is this? I mean, like, you kind of see, you kind of see the dolphin's penis, like, going in and, in and out of the head of the severed fish. I'd love to see it. But, I'll, like, I'll be honest. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, there what you the go. Fuck? See, there it is. What the fuck? Yeah, there he goes. How is it doing it, though? Like, is the fish up against something? Oh, uh, my God. Yeah. That is so crazy. <laughs> Yo, that dick really looks so, yeah, like I thought look it Oh, he's having a blast. Yeah, he's digging it. Man, these dolphins, that, they're kinky. Jesus They're really just trying to bust all the time. All the it. time. It's good for dolphins. Dolphins guys. straight up have flashlights. Yeah. So for the audio listeners that weren't able to watch that video, it was basically uh, a dolphin fucking a dead fish. <laughs> <laughs> which is which is awesome. And if you want to, if you want to, and if you want to see it yourself, <laughs> you can. You can just. It's a very Google. small fish, too. You, you, well, do you see that yeah. small? It seemed like it was a good like one footer. Yeah, but that's that means yeah. his dick was like a one footer. Yeah. yeah oh. I guess you're right, man. We had this one teacher in high school um, called Mr. Wong. He had a one footer. <laughs> <laughs> no, he used to threaten to push kids down the stairs. That was like oh, his bit. That's so sick. He'd be like, do your homework or I'll push you down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone loved him. Until like, he pushed that one kid down yeah, the stairs. That would be horrible. Yeah, then it was fear. Yeah, he was like, like Stephen Hawking for the rest of the year. Anyway. I'm serious though. That happened. That was like a. He pushed someone down the stairs. No, he didn't oh, push someone okay, down the stairs. Okay. But Dude, he did threaten it an awful yeah, lot. Yeah. You could tell Dude. he was thinking about it. At one point, I think he came up behind a kid and went like that. 
you know, and like kind of like pushed him and then grabbed him back yeah, yeah, just yeah. to commit to the yeah. bit. Yeah, that guy's in prison now. <laughs> he murdered several children. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Do you guys ever reflect on like maybe you missed like a critical day or two days or three days like in a in, in like an early grade? They just completely fucked you in the long run? Nah. Because I'm pretty sure I missed, I missed a thing like for like grammar, like uh, verbs, adverbs, adge- adjectives, you know, like the adjectives. Adjectives. <laughs> adjectives, you see? Like I miss uh, those classes. I get what you mean now. I miss yeah. those classes. Yeah. I reckon so, there's gonna, like, I've got things that I but, like, don't I, know about I, can't, I just miss them. I can't tell you, like if somebody, like if I was running for president and I, was, and I had all of, the, all of the issues thought out, all of the, all the policy thought out and it was all good and I was up on the stage... The one way to just completely fuck my chances of getting elected would just be like, um, Mr. Swagger Souls, um, what's the difference between a verb and an adjective? I'd be fucked. I'd be no, you so on. fucked. You, you wouldn't I'd be so fucked. The difference between the two. I, d- I don't. Yes, you do. You're, you're a verb s- is a descriptive word? No, that's an adjective. <laughs> you idiot. Yeah, what do you, <laughs> what say, do you mean? What I do you mean? This is a complete bit, I, right? No. Please tell me this it's is not a bit. a bit. I think it'd be fine because yeah, I feel bit. like You're most smart. of America doesn't know I that know either. I know I'm smart, but the thing is like... <laughs> You, when you miss like three days or four days where like you learn the material and you get tested on it, like, like, this is just a thing that happened. <laughs> they just teach us once. This is no, like a recurring dude, like, theme no, in school. No, no, like, I literally, <laughs> like, I, I swear to God, I was never taught it again after that, like, after the point where I missed it, or like, I never was able to like figure it out. Mm. Like, maybe I am just fucking, <laughs> fucking stupid. He's a verb for you. He's capping. He's capping right Man, now. It's a verb. So, what verb? A verb is like an action. A verb is an action. Yeah, and so an adjective like, is a descriptive like, term. So word. W- is punch a verb? Yes. Punching is... Well, no, yeah. Punching, that's an adverb. Punching is... A, yeah. Uh, yeah, an adverb... Oh, my God. Now I'm... <laughs> now I'm on the fucking spot here. An adverb is a... Uh, Toby, help me out here. So an adverb <laughs> is like a verb. So, like, you'd be like... You know, instead of, uh, why instead did you of, bring this up? Now we just all look so ignorant on the fucking podcast. Like, how about ad, you know, adverb, <laughs> ad, 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 verb is a ad, doing word. Ad, <laughs> J, the JBL is 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 powering the Misfits podcast. Mm. Even though we are stupid and have no brains inside of our skull, <laughs> we get the added benefit of JBL speaker sound waves going through our very own ears and reverberating across our hollow cranium. It's mm. lit. Yeah, a- adverb is like the manner in which a verb takes place. Like if you, like uh, I'm stroking you, that's a verb. Right. But or I'm stroking l- you softly. Softly is the adverb. Okay, okay, so, so it's like, like an so adjective like, so like, for a so verb. For you, it would be like, I was Googling nervously. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right? that's yeah, good. So I was yes. Googling nervously. All right, so that would be an adverb. And then yeah. it was relief when so I found out. So there's verb, adverb, ad- ad- adjective. adjective. That's right. What's an adjective? Uh, that's like a descriptive word. That's descriptive like, word? Yeah, yeah like bright. softly. Or, no. <laughs> I, I, I know nouns. Nouns, <laughs> nouns, up. nouns, like I... Oh, like, yeah, we're not pronouns. You know those? You know mine? Huh? Um... Zim. Yeah, thank you. Thank Welcome. you. Zim Zuri. What is Zim? What is that? You know? I thought you're, it was. You're, you're one of the gays, right? <laughs> uh, what does that mean? I thought no it was, fucking idea. I thought it was like Zizai Zozum. Zizai Zozum. Mm. Mm. Yeah. B5 Fofum. I smell an Englishman. <laughs> that, that's that. You're a Twitter bio. Uh, it, it's English, they, them. Oh, sorry. I can't thank believe you. I'm just on this podcast. I'm just, I'm just trying yuppies. to grind his bones up, bro. It's the bread. <laughs> Grind his bones up. Into yeah. bread. Yeah. Into bread. What? Fee, you fine, didn't know this? Fo, fum. I forgot the rest of the story. I didn't uh, realize it was such a gruesome tale. Yeah, yeah. He, he molests a, a child and then turns his bones into bread. So he kind of, would you say that he mashed his bones into a fine paste? <laughs> yeah, and, and then he buried yeah. them under a dog. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of callbacks here. It's the worst callback. <laughs> so there's verb, <laughs> adverb, Adjective. Do we adjective. have to go back into it? Adjective, like it's an ob- objective. It's adjective. What is a simile? A simile. Yeah. A simile is like. It's yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm so smart. That was completely calculated <laughs> on purpose. And then there is metaphors. Uh huh. Okay. I know. It's, I know metaphor. I know terms. simile. I know yeah. nouns. It's what just, about hyperbole? Hyperbole. What's that? It'd be like you are the worst fucking person ever. You suck, and I hate you. Yeah, that is hyperbole. Fuck you. I'm only kind of the worst. Yeah, yeah. not quite. Yeah. I'm not like, quite the worst. I'm not the worst. I'm just really bad. Yeah. But he was kind of uh, over-exaggerated in there. 
Yeah, prick. Well, these are all great terms. I'm glad we're learning things. Mm, Educating yeah. the listeners. Maybe they didn't know themselves. Yeah. Maybe they were like you. They missed that cru- that crucial two days in school. And I'm they glad, were I'm glad that us in the audience are now on better terms. We're all fully educated now. Yep. <laughs> now we know everything. Congrats. That was yeah. the only gap in our knowledge. Yeah, now, For now sure. all the other now all the, <laughs> now my neurons are connected and firing simultaneously. Yeah. It's like it all makes sense now. Yeah. It's just like it's just it has to be something like with everyone, no matter how smart you are, there's just like one thing that everybody knows that you don't. Everyone has gaps in their knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I'm trying to think. Would you rather have gaps in your knowledge or gaps in your teeth? Why did I know you were gonna say that? I knew exactly that I was gonna say that as yeah. well. Because I just know how his brain works now. <laughs> yeah, uh, I've, I've examined I'd rather it have for years. Gaps in my knowledge. Hmm. Yeah, probably. Yeah, like gaps in your teeth is kind of hard to yeah. get around. I feel like a gap, like gaps in your knowledge, is like yeah, you know. I mean, like everyone's yeah. got some. Uh, are you saying that if I have gaps in my teeth, I'll have no gaps in my knowledge? Because I'll yeah. take that alternative. Oh, okay. Then yeah, I just know everything. So, and I, okay, I'm sure yeah. my teeth are fucked up, but I know so. <laughs> 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 I'm going to make my own braces out of fish wire. <laughs> I, I just know everything, so it doesn't really matter if my teeth are got gaps in them. If if you guys probably could gonna pick, get pussy either way. If you guys could pick one subject to know everything about, like you you, you know you just instantly know how to do everything to do with that subject. Crypto what would it be crypto. That'd yeah, be, be fucking rich. Yeah, that's that's yeah. It's kind of a lame answer though. Like, what about like uh, I don't know. Medicine, or you know, <laughs> oh, medicine would be an you know, maybe one. just be an institute doctor. Yeah, or like biology, or something useful that isn't just a selfish pursuit of greed and wealth. I, I think know. like knowing everything about how just like machines work, like mechanic. Yeah, just well, yeah, but like, yeah, like an engineer, engineering. Yeah, yeah that could yeah. be cool. Yeah, just being able to <clears throat> rebuild anything. Mm. Um, maybe. I, like being really good on a podcast. I think I want to just know everything about the Pokemon universe. <laughs> That's probably what oh, I, I put all my skill points into. Yeah. Uh, like... Blue, play a random Pokemon. Like you know when they come out of the ball and then they go like, <laughs> like like just they do the random fucking like <laughs> sound when like they pop out. You just play like a random like out of all of the Pokemon and then Fitch will try to guess it. Okay, give me a second. That's actually kind of a fun little game. I'm yeah, gonna be so bad at it though. Do they do they all actually... make unique noises? Yeah. Yeah, they all go like Squirtle. Or no, like... no, they don't even say like the names like when they when they pop out, they just go like they just go like Really? Or like or like Is this how it is now or how it used to be? Because when I was a kid oh, I used to watch no, the show. That was the show is different, but the I'm talking uh, about the game. Uh, talking about the, the game, game, the shit the uh, China band. I'm not gonna know that shit. What if what if you put up a picture of a Pokemon? We have to say what it is. Uh, it's it's kind of easy. Yeah. I mean, it's hard because there's so many now, but I'd know all the first gen ones. Yeah, because I'm, um, you know. Do you I know the uh, Do you know the Pokemon rap? The song, like a rap song, or like a Pokemon, Pokemon called rap. The, no, the Pokemon rap song. Is it like a McDonald's meal? No, dude. <laughs> you don't know. Rap. It was like. I don't know the name. I don't, bells, I, don't, yeah. I don't know like the fucking. I think I've heard know, like, that. Yeah, you would have had to if you watched the show. It's, yeah. They'd be playing at the end of every every episode. Oh uh, yeah, okay. I know what you mean. Mm. Yeah. I think I, I have rap. some sounds. Okay. okay. Oh god. Is that is that is that Diglett? <laughs> No. <laughs> is it Charmander? It's, it's, it's literally just a, it's like a 16-bit sound, 8-bit sound. <laughs> what the fuck? Was that the same sound? Yeah. It didn't sound the oh, same. Oh, lose me out. No. How, how are we supposed to know this? What type what is, is it? that? It's Bulbasaur. It's Bulbasaur. Okay. Oh! Obviously, that would make sense. Hit, hit us with another one. Dude, this is some straight autistic shit. <laughs> Sorry. I, know, I do not know dude. what these fucking Yo, dude, are. I was, I was on, dude. The, the audio listeners are like, these guys have dude, lost the dude, fucking plot. Dude, like, I, dude, have lost the plot. A year right? ago, a year oh ago, I was on, uh, I think it was like one of Ludwig's shows with Fly. It was like a trivia <sighs> thing. And Connery's pants was like on the other team. And it was it was literally this same exercise. And Connor eats pants is like an autistic savant with Pokemon, like <laughs> cr- crazy knowledge, all things Pokemon. And like they literally play like random fucking noises, just like 
And, yeah. then, and then he'd be like, oh, he's tortured. And he'd be like, right. okay, another point. He'd be like, oh, that, that's Mr. Blame. Oh, another point. He'd be like, how do you fucking remember? Such an insane, like, bank of knowledge. It's insane. so... Useless. Well, it's not useless because he's made a career off of streaming, I guess. Look, bro, yeah. plays dude, Pokemon, literally, cetera, literally but... ever since then, I've been a kind of reach pants stand. Like, that <laughs> knowledge. That yeah, since I found brain. out that he actually eats pants, I've been a huge fan. <laughs> Really, that's it was really weird, dude. When he was at like the the, the fucking remember the party that we threw in L.A. and he yeah. and he literally was tearing into jeans. We all ordered pizza. He was like, "Not, not for me." Yeah, yeah he pants. was like, we were like, well, what do you, would you like you know?" Well, he was, you're, I you're think, the guys. He was like, he was like, suit jeans. He was, he was spoiling himself. He had some Gucci jeans. <laughs> he was at my side all night. Like, hey, fit those some nice jeans. Yeah. <laughs> I want to eat them. Maybe a little like, get away. You're weird. A uh, little, little bit, little nibble. No maybe? nibble. <laughs> Come on, surely. Just a little bit. Oh, of nibble maybe jeans, just one man. of the belt loops. Maybe. Oh, on, maybe just the button. Give us your pants. Oh, Come on, just one of the button. Come on, just give me the zipper. Let me eat it. I mean, I've seen so many weirder shit at that party than, than pants. Yeah. I mean, like that chaotic. fake, like that fake foam apple. A, fo a foam apple? That you wasn't remember? in L.A. That was that was San Diego. San Diego. Mm. It was San Diego. Mm. It was the TwitchCon party that we did. Yeah. Threw. Good times. Sand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, update. You you know how last episode I said that I uh, I got a got a uh, stuff to make hoodies. Yeah, I made my printed? first hoodie today this morning. Oh time. really? Yeah. Uh, is it, is this, this, this? this is it? Oh really? God, this is a nice yeah, blank. Thank you. Yeah, this looks Holy cool. Holy shit! What does it say on there? Uh, it's, it says creativity. I didn't know what to say. I just made it on stream this morning. I was just like, fuck it, give me a word. That's Wrote cool. the word, then we made the hoodie. Yeah, it's just like, oh, I can't come up with an idea to fucking I'm just put not creative. I wish I, I was wish, more creative. I wish, I, I, wish I, was, I had more creativity. That's, That's it. That's a great word. I'll, I'll yeah. put that on this shirt. That's exactly what happened. Yeah. Well, good for you advertising creativity. I don't think yeah. it gets enough props. So. Yeah, nobody nobody thinks about creativity, That's idiots. Right. Yeah. Fucking mindless drones, you fucking yuppies listening to this. What type of word is a cre is creativity? That is, so there's create, which is an action. <laughs> and then it's, create, yeah. create is an action. Yeah. So that would be an adjective. Or well, creating no, a piece of word. He's, he's fucking with us, right? <laughs> he's gotta be fucking with us. I'm not fucking with you either, which is the funniest part. <laughs> uh, so it would be, an, it would be a uh, verb, because it's descriptive. No, but creative is an adverb. Creative is an adverb? Oh, no, it's not. Creatively creative is an adverb. So create, what about creativity? <laughs> this is so cancer. Yeah, yeah, right. I can't creativity. believe that we're doing this. Creativity don't it, 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 it is an adjective. It is an adjective. It's an adjective. It's an adjective. adjective. So I was right the first time. What? Creativity? It's not an adjective. It's an adverb. The, no, creatively No, no, it's a verb. Fuck, fuck you. Get, fuck gas, you, get, shut the fuck light, up. Gaslight, get it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, we are so stupid. How the fuck do any of you listening I actually take us seriously? I honestly don't even know. It's, it's, Half it's, the shit I say is not fact-checked. Did, <laughs> did you know that? What do you mean? Is any of the shit you say fact-checked? Yeah, never. I'm not saying it's, in, it's, it's invalid or wrong or anything. I'm just saying, is, it, is any of it fact-checked? I'm sure someone online is like, oh, yeah, okay, you, oh, was yeah, he right? And then they look <laughs> it up fair. and they go, oh, no, he was. He was horribly wrong. Okay, in that respect, probably all of the stuff we say is fact-checked. Do you mm. think? Maybe. Fat check. Fat check. <laughs> Are you fat? <laughs> fat check. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Oh, yeah, a bit chunky. A little check. Chunky. <laughs> Stupid check. Fat check. <laughs> <laughs> Sex. No. No. Virgin check. Yes. Anyway, this has been the podcast. Bit of a ramble session here. Yeah, yeah but it's, but it's a bit fun. of a fun one. Bit of fun. Bit of, bit of reminiscing on the old school ground days. Mm. Wholesome. Bit of talking about Amazon drivers smoking pot. Bit of talking about Swagger's friends smoking pot. Mm. Bit of talking about Toby cocaine problem. Yeah, and smoking pot. Yeah. And uh, talking about you leaving. Yeah, me leaving you and are, me being locked are, out of my house. You are leaving, That's why I'm leaving the country. You are leaving <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> I am leaving tomorrow. I get a flight at 9 a.m. Mm. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, that's early. Yeah, yeah, by the time this podcast released, you would you would have been be, in a, you would have been there for two weeks in, in the states for a while now. We're recording these in advance, kind of bulked up on these uh, these bad boys right here. Yeah, but I'll be seeing you soon. Mm. No We're have to, uh, we will I'll have to uh, figure out a replacement. I'll be the reporter out in the field. Yep. Like, guys, it's oh. I'm in America, and it's oh. Just before, because you said reporter, and that made me it triggered me in a, in a good I'm way. Sorry to trigger you. No, it was in a, in a good way. <laughs> okay, but. You remember I? Uh, you remember uh, all gas no breaks? Yeah. He he has a new channel, you know. Yeah, yeah. Channel five. Channel five. I had no idea. I only found know? that out today. Yeah, guy's still still doing it. Of Andrew course. Andrew Callahan. He's killing it. Absolutely fucking killing it. Yeah, I love that guy. He's, he's honestly my 
probably my favorite creator on the site right now. The fucking good actual shit. I mean, other than Swagger Souls and Toby, of course, but, you know. I don't create. <laughs> fucking liar of a shirt, then. <laughs> Lying <laughs> ass hoodie, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, fair. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Anyways. Well, we'll see you yuppies later, I guess. Lady yeah. yuppies. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. I hope you've had a great, good week. And, uh, you know, if you haven't, then fucking... Maybe do something about him. Yeah, uh-huh. give your mum my number. <laughs> Toby's looking. She, she's on the prowl. On the prowl for some mama puss. You want that cougar? Mm. Wow. Yeah, all right. We should really close this shit <laughs> out. Yeah, my mom is starting to hurt. All right, no bye. Problem, bye. bye guys.